What's up everybody, this is Andy with Aspen Valley Vapes and today we're going to be taking a look at how to upgrade your IPv3 Li. This update is pretty simple and easy to use but some parts can be a little confusing and there are some common problems that people have been running into so we're going to take a look at those problems today. So to start out, you're going to want to go to the Pioneer for You download page, and we will have a link in the description down below. So you see here there's a bunch of different updates, and you are going to want to download the first two. The SXI, which is the program that is going to run your update, and then the one below that is the actual update that you're going to use in that program to do the update on the IPv3 Li. So download both of those. Now, after you have both of those downloaded, it's time to open up the SXI program, which will be on your computer now. You can see here's the program. So this is where you're going to want to connect your IPv3 Li with that USB cable that was included in the box. Before you do connect your IPv3 Li, do make sure to take out both 18650 batteries. Once you have that connected, you're going to see these two options. Sometimes it will automatically register your device, other times it will not. If it does not automatically recognize the IPv3 Li, you're going to have to install this driver. Now this is the screen you get when the USB plug included with your IPv3 is not working correctly, which is the case for me. That USB cable was not working and the device would not get recognized. So what I had to do is grab another micro USB cable and plug it in to the IPv3 Li and then once that happened it was able to finally recognize the device I downloaded the driver and I was good to go. After your IPv3 has been successfully connected you're going to want to return to the main menu and go to the update. Now this is where you're going to open up that second file that you downloaded. Click it there. You can see I had two because I downloaded it twice but that is no big deal. You're going to open it and you're going to hit upgrade. Now you're going to hit that button and then it will start upgrading your IPv3 and you can see down below upgrade finished. After your upgrade has finished that is what will be shown and your IPv3 Li will now be upgraded to 200 watts. Now if this video did help you update your IPv3 Li please leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. It would be greatly appreciated. We will have a lot more videos like this. We also have hardware reviews and other vaping related videos and I hope you have a wonderful day. Vape on. Yeah.